Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Targram back as promised with more lore of League of Legends. This time we're back with covering champions who requested from us. We've chosen to cover a pair of champions who are bound by their connection to the depths of the sea. Fizz, the tidal trickster, and Nautilus, Titan of the Depths. Enjoy. Centuries ago, when humans were still wild tribes battling one another for dominance, an ancient aquatic race had built a city hidden beneath a mountain in the sea. It was an impenetrable stronghold able to hold back any of the race's enemies. Its structure allowed the race to develop in peace, unbothered by the events of the outside world. They would spent their days inside the city too afraid to go outside. They had everything they needed, so why risk anything? But there was one person who thought different. Fizz. A young specimen who could not agree with the views of his relatives. Of course it was safe and easy life, but it was also boring. Why spend your days doing nothing if there is so much out there to explore and so much wildlife to see? Fizz could never stop his curiosity. He quickly developed a habit of sneaking out of the safety that the city provided to look for adventures. The life that he'd led was far from easy, but somehow Fizz felt that he was happier than others. He knew the thrill of the adventure, excitement of discovery. There was more than the cushion life that he would otherwise have. He'd learned to use his instincts that others had seemed to forget about. He'd faced dangers on many occasions, and he would often risk his life. But quick reflexes and cleverness always allowed him to escape unharmed. Years of wandering outside the city had turned Fizz into a skilled warrior that could outsmart most of those that he'd met under the sea. He always fought with grace and agility that couldn't be matched by anyone. And as time passed, Fizz had been moving further from his homeland, sometimes disappearing for a few days, sometimes even for weeks. He would be gone without any word and return like nothing happened. When Fizz was out on one of his expeditions, however, something had happened. To this day, Fizz did not exactly know what, but when he returned to his home, it was empty. The city had been completely abandoned with no clue about the reasons of such events. There were no signs of fights, no damage, like everyone had just vanished. Fizz spent long hours looking for anyone else, but it was pointless. He has however managed to salvage an enchanted sea stone trident from the ruins, one of his race's relics. Feeling that it would be a valuable asset on his adventures, he collected it and left the city for good. There was nothing else left for him. He set out into the depths of the sea to the parts that he'd never visited before, hoping to find any signs of his people. He wandered the ocean for years, yet his search had proven to be futile. No matter where he looked, there was no one, only more danger that he had to face. Thanks to his skills in the sea stone trident, he'd managed to survive with no harm to himself. He was getting more and more frustrated with his search. No matter how much effort he'd put into it, there were no results. Everything has changed when Fizz had found a port, a human port, a site that he'd never seen before. His homeland was miles away from the closest land and it was not inhabited anyway. Life at the port had fascinated Fizz. He's never seen life on the surface and it was a pleasant surprise. Everything was so colourful, vibrant, lively. Fizz wanted to experience it. He wanted to be closer to everything that had been happening. And so, the young adventurer had entered the glorious city of Bilgewater, home to all sorts of thugs, pirates, and scum. The life that many consider filthy and hard was fascinating to Fizz. He found it beautiful and his curiosity made him interfere with every situation that he'd seen on land. At first he was just chased away from the city, allowing him to return soon after. But the pirates of the Bilgewater never like it if someone is messing with them too often. They began to behave aggressive towards Fizz, not wanting him anywhere close to their port. Many rewards had been set for the head of Fizz. Given no other choice, Fizz wanted to run away back to the sea. Standing at the edge of the wooden deck, he started jumping into it, preparing himself to return. He did not expect a gigantic dragon shark to jump out of the bay and start destroying the city, as well as the ships surrounding it. Everyone in the city started panicking, trying to run away. Not Fizz though, he'd faced those sharks too many times to be scared. 
He took a hold of his sea stone trident and jumped right onto the shark, deeply focused on its weak points. Time after time, Fizz had struck the beast of the depths. His attacks were felt, but the shark was unable to react in any way. Fizz was too small a target. The helpless beast had been cornered and slain as Fizz stood triumphant over its body. In return, the pirates of Bilgewater had cancelled the rewards on Fizz. He'd earned their respect and gratitude. He was officially allowed to become a citizen of Bilgewater and stay there for how long he wanted. Fizz's fascination with the pirate port had never faded, and as the months passed, the creature had been living in Bilgewater, and when the League of Legends asked Bilgewater for another representative, Fizz seemed like a natural choice. He's accepted the offer and now protects his new home, not only from the creatures of the sea, but other humans as well. Nautilus was always a man of the sea. He had been wide known as an experienced sailor who has achieved things that most were afraid to. He sailed through waters unexplored by anyone else just to cover up an empty space on the map. One day he was contacted by the summoners of the League of Legends. They needed a crew to travel deep into unknown reaches of the Guardian Sea. They wanted only the best to join the crew, and Nautilus accepted their offer. He's never met this crew before, but he had to trust them. There was no other way they could work together. They seemed to share his mindset, and their cooperation was going rather well. After days of sailing, they left known safe waters and sailed onwards, ready to investigate anything new or uncommon like they were ordered to. Another few days have passed and nothing seemed to change. Nobody on the ship has even paid attention to the waters beneath getting progressively darker. When another sunrise had welcomed the sailors, the water under the ship was replaced by black oozing liquid. Nobody could tell what that meant. Nobody ever wanted to pay attention to the sea, hoping that it would go back to normal as soon as they move on. Nautilus, however, remembered what their task was. He'd found a hulking diver's suit that they'd been given and prepared himself to gather some samples for the summoners. He slowly climbed over the ship's rail with the help of his colleagues, but as soon as he leaned forward to lower himself, something pulled him into the water. In the last moment, he grasped the railing, desperately holding onto it, as the dark creature tried to pull him down. He cried out for help, but he got no response. With all his might, Nautilus clung to the side of their ship. The entire ship started rocking on the unfriendly waters due to the force of the unseen beast trying to take Nautilus with him, and the sailor had not received any help. For a few minutes he'd been struggling on his own, and then his fellow sailors had finally taken action. Not those that Nautilus had hoped for, however. They had forcefully opened his hands and pushed him off right into the dark depths. In the last act of desperation, Nautilus grabbed the ship's anchor, but it didn't help. Clutching it tightly, he'd been surrounded by the dark waters. For months, the body of the sailor had been resting on the bottom of the sea, unconscious, surrounded by the black tar-like waters. He should have died, turned into a rotting corpse, but no. Something else happened. One day, Nautilus awoke, and it was... different. He wasn't human anymore, he could not feel his body, just the iron suit. It was now part of him, just like the anchor that he'd start still clutching in his hands. In the darkness of depths, everything was different. He barely remembered anything that happened before his accident. He did remember what happened, however. He could describe the face of every single man who had condemned him to his fate. Having no other purpose in life, Nautilus decided to seek revenge. Too heavy to swim, he slowly rose and started his long walk under the waves, hoping to find those men. He wandered across the ocean's bottom with no clear goal. It almost seemed like an eternal dream. He was walking, surrounded by all kinds of creatures. But none of them were brave enough to attack the mysterious Titan. He was human no more. He was a beast of the depths, and only bits of memories have still connected him to his past. When he finally found the shores of Valora and he started looking for answers, but everyone who had heard the tales of Nautilus would just send him back to the League of Legends. But even when he reached the Institute of War, the summoners refused to give him answers. Not a single name, not a single clue where to look for them. 
it didn't matter. Nautilus decided to stay in the Institute of War and serve as one of the League's champions for the time being. Eventually, he would find some clues, and it would just take time. And time, he had more than enough of. And that's all we've prepared for you this time around. Let us know if you like this video by pressing that like button, leaving your feedback in the comment section below, and sharing this video around. It really helps us out a lot. And as always, I'll see you next time.